Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and this is True. I want to be showing you how to create a logo using gradients to create like a layered effect and it really makes it look 3D and pop and you can even use it as a ribbon effect as well. So you can see here is a quick example of how I did that just simply using letters and shapes. It's really easy and you can do it too. So here's another example that I like. I like working with like monochromatic colors and also complementary colors but I love this how it fades and it's got that nice gradient, that nice cut there which was really cool. So I'm going to show you how to quickly do this. So we're going to use the green colors and you can see here in the palette I've got some you know darker greens and the lighter greens here and you can see here I've made a quick gradient here. I'm going to make this darker so you can see I'm just going to duplicate this and what we want to do we want to set up our gradient so it just saves us some time later on. So I'm going to select this square and go to my swatches panel and drag this dark green color into my gradient panel and I'm just going to drag my gradient panel so you can see all it is is one color light color and one dark color. So what you can do, you can just drag colors in like this really easily. So, and then you can click and drag and just drag downwards or you can click and then click the bin over here. So if I, if I drag a swatch color, I can just click the bin or delete it. So you can see here we're going to be using this and obviously you can edit your gradients, but we're just going to save that there. So we can just pretty much eyedropper it in. Let me put gradient in there. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to get a letter. So I'm going to press T for the type tool. Just left click once. I'm going to use Futura for this because it's just simple bold um, sans font. And you can see there you can use other fonts. It works good, but you know it's easy just to use like a simple sans font. And what I'm going to do is do outlines. So I'm going to go to type. You can do create outlines. I just did the shortcut there. So I want to turn this into a shape to an object so we can use it. I'm going to make it white and I'm just going to center it in the middle there, maybe scale it up a little bit. And there we go. So what I'm going to do now, let's so move my gradients over there. I'm going to get my pen tool, so press P for the turn tool. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually draw on this curve to try and get that nice cut and then I'm just going to make a shape around it and cut off the excess from the shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the point that's when it starts turning off and I'm going to create three sections. So you can see here, I'm going to find a point here just as it's trying to turn off and I'm going to just click and drag and hold and as you can see up the top, I'm going to try and get it just as it starts curving there and I'm just going to make a shape around it like this. I'll make it a different color so you can see. So if I press Control Y, I'll go to outline mode so you can see it's pretty much on the line there. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. So that's fine. It doesn't have to be exactly unless you're like doing like a professional logo for a client has to be perfect then you can you know do that but for now it's a, it's cool and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the S hold shift select the outer shape and then press shift M for the shape builder tool and just hold alt and cut this shape off and that's how you use the shape builder tool to cut it off as you can see there and now we have this shape here try not to damage this shape because we might need to reuse it so once again we're going to go on the other side now and you can see how the letter has this nice curve here as it's going down to the tail. So what we're going to do, press P for the pen tool again, find a spot where I can use it to use it as a guideline. And you can see if I have smart guides, my path and my pen tool is going to click to the paths, which is really cool. So I'll find a point there and then go to the outer edge of the letter. And I'm just going to slowly hold and have that until I like it. So that looks good. So what I'm going to do is go this way and what I'm going to do now is press shift M, select everything, press shift M and then that will change to my shape builder tool. I'm going to hold alt or option if you're on a Mac and then I'm going to minus this outer shape there. So now we've just made this shape here. So if I change the color, you'll see it. So we've got this shape, this shape and we also have this shape. So what we want to do now, we want to have this middle section as well or we can just um, so what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate this middle S. So I'm going to select it, press Control C, Control F. So that means I've duplicated it and put it like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Shift and select these two shapes. And then what I'm going to do is press Shift M again and then just left, left click once on the middle section. So what that's going to do, it's going to create these one shape. But what do you have to do? I'm going to double click on it, go and delete these outer shapes there. So now we have just this shape here and we have this backup letter here. 
which is good. So now we have this, so I can change this color so you guys can see. So now we, you can see we've got three different shapes there. So what we're going to do now, as we have our segments, we can start to add our gradients. So I'm just going to select all my shapes. I'm going to press I for the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select my gradient that I made here, which is this little square with the gradient on it. And the eyedropper is going to sample that gradient and add it to my shapes here. But now you can see it's still not looking the way we want it. So we're going to have to adjust the gradient. I also noticed that because we didn't do the line perfectly straight, you can see you got some extra extra shapes. So I just deleted that, which is totally fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my gradient tool again, and I'm going to go to the middle bar, and you can see it's the degree, so it's an angle. So what I'm going to do is hold shift and move my mouse wheel around till I get it to the spot here. So we want to have the, the darkest points at the cuts. So it looks like it, it's going to be like a 3D effect, like it's the pieces are on top of each other. So you want to have it in these corners and then you can drag this little bar, the location, so it increases the gradient on one side. You can also move this point as well to make it more sharper. But just keep in mind, you can see if you don't do it well enough, it can start to see like a, just a straight, it's not blurred properly and that look, doesn't look too good. So you want to make sure that it has some you know feathering there and it sort of fades out. So that looks good. I'm going to do it to this shape here, so I'll just select this shape now. I'll just move this one and drop this like that, so you get a nice effect. Still too harsh. Sweet, move the angle there, and it makes a big difference. And then I'll do it to this one as well. So move it around. Let me try the other way. And slowly just adjusting those bars just so it, you know, so it works well. Cool. So you can see there, we've made our S and it looks nice. And because you've got the same color as the background, it actually fades in really well there. And it looks really cool. So we can select it. I can go to my transparency panel and I can actually go and change it to multiply. That will multiply this color to the background color. As you can see that, really cool. You know, I can then go ahead and play around with some of these other colors. See if it fits well. Like even that looks cool. You know, so it's just a matter of you know playing around with those gradients and getting that nice cut. But you can see that makes it look laid and stuff. So also it, we have this S here as a backup. So I can just get rid of that and just have these shapes here. But there you have it. That's how you make a, a gradient, a logo using gradients and using just one letter. Really cool. And if you have play around and have fun, you can really create some cool effects um, with this type of style. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Hit that like button because it really helps me out. As well as leave a comment on your thoughts on this tutorial and if it was actually helpful. And subscribe for more. And subscribe to my channel because I upload design content almost every week. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you next time.